in uh, Mailbag 40-ish, I picked up a couple of these uh, cheap Made in China breadboards. And there were several comments from uh, Tech Dutch Relief that they're really cheaply made. Uh, and that the more expensive ones uh, have better parts inside of them. So I'm going to actually uh, compare this brand spanking new one to, and let me zoom out. So the first thing we'll do is figure out, uh, get an idea of what the material might be between these two. Uh, here's a nice neoprene magnet. Obviously a fairly strong one. Picks things up quite easily. So, putting it on here, there's no significant pull. I'm just going to lock the screen. Over on this part, this isn't metal either, or it's not uh, magnetic. So, nothing there. This one here, well, okay, it's magnetic. So, is it steel or not? Don't know. Maybe it's pure nickel. Here's a one franc. A one franc of that vintage is nickel. Pure nickel. Or 99.9. .9. Here's a Canadian nickel. It's a 19... Whoops. Nineteen fifty-eight, ninety-nine point nine percent nickel. Here's a U.S. five cent buffalo. Well, it's not magnetic. Uh, that's because it, like this Canadian nineteen ninety-eight, and you have to check the years carefully, are uh, seventy-five percent copper and twenty-five percent nickel. So do check your change. I got this just recently. A 1937 U.S. nickel. In my pocket change. Not bad. And apparently that's listed as good condition. So, maybe this isn't steel. Maybe it's pure nickel. I'm not betting on that one. Mainly because that would be very expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this strip off here. Oh, uh, this board is 20 plus years old. Um, I don't know exactly where it came from. I think it was Taiwan, but I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is disassemble this and disassemble one of these. And we can just take a look at the innards of it. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to move this out of the way. That way maybe things will focus a bit better. Quicker. Yep. And it looks like this is actually going to be fairly easy to take apart. Just get underneath there, pull it up. That was simpler. See, I had these all lined up. So, let's just see if I can get it focused. That's it. Let me grab some wire. And so essentially it is just pushes it out to the limit. There we go. And then it just bounces back. Spring loaded in a way. Now let's try this one. Uh, it's got more gunk on it. 
I'll just clean off the end first. So whereas that one came out real easy, this is a tight fit. So I'm going to have to get something underneath there and see if I can uh, lift it out. So using uh, my good little screwdrivers, there we go. Get it up enough. Get them out of the way. And now, oops, there we go. I think I'll just take out one track. There. Snip it out. There we go. So, here it is. Let's compare the two. Now these ones here on the right side, which is the older one, they're definitely a lot wider. The rest of it looks about the same. So it's probably just going to come down to material. This one's not magnetic. This one is magnetic. So I'm betting that this here is going to be something like brass, tin coated or uh, more likely nickel coated brass. wonder if I can actually scrape that and see if it's brass underneath it. Let's try some grinding on it. And I've got my safety glasses on, just in case. Grinding uh, didn't work. I think all it was doing was smearing the material that's coated uh, on the pins. But, using a file... That definitely looks brassy to me. So I'd say it was uh, nickel coated brass for the older uh, board. Which would explain why it was not magnetic. And I don't know how the for uh, springiness would be. But uh, hey, at least can see now that that is brass down there. So in summary, uh, I would say having this a uh, bit wider, it would increase the springiness and so it would bounce back. Uh, probably the brass uh, with nickel coating, I'm making an assumption on the nickel coating, but I think it's a good one. Uh, it's a better material than just having straight steel. Uh, this one is also a much tighter fit uh, inside here, whereas this was significantly uh, looser. And I think that would uh, make a big play in the long term, in that uh, once they get pushed out a bit, uh, they stay out. And hence, as soon as you put in finer wire, it will. Whereas this one uh, being tighter, yeah. It would eventually distort too, but uh, probably just simply the width and the material. So, have a good one, and always be checking your pocket change for kind of cute little uh, coins. Uh, 1937, and apparently it's worth more than five cents. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.